So it wasn't until I went in to have the CAT scan or the MRI that I came out and all of a sudden my room was full of people in busyness and I just began to hear things like CareFlight will be here in you know, X minutes. You've got an aneurysm that is tearing and we need to get you down to, to Dallas really quick because we can't handle it here. Everyone kept telling me they're gonna have to do open heart, they're gonna crack your chest. And Dr. Hill came in and said, absolutely not. We're going, we're gonna do a mentally invasive procedure. So T-bar, that's short for thoracic endovascular aortic repair. It's a type of technology that's used now to help um, cover up aneurysms or tears in the aorta. We go through the groin, we'll be able to feed up a wire into their aorta, and over this wire, we deploy a stent to exclude those portions of the disease they were. For example, if you have a tear and they were called a dissection, we're able to put that stent just before that. So the blood will go through the stent and it'll exclude that area of disease they were, and then that dissection will just heal up around that stent for the next six to eight weeks. I know uh, my wife and I were both praying that, that they would just be the gloves God to put their hands in and, and do the work. They were marvelous. Everybody uh, in, in the hospital from the techs all the way up to the, the surgeons were just wonderful. I could not have asked or prayed for better care than what I got. With the open procedure, um, it's a big incision in your chest. It's difficult to recover from just from a physical nature. Uh, those patients have a high risk of paralysis below the diaphragm, so their, their recovery is very prolonged. Now with this new technology with T-Bar, we're able to go through the groins with a puncture on one side, maybe a small wound on the other, and we're able to get them out of the hospital in about three days. By the time they leave the hospital, they're back to their baseline. They're able to go out and drive a car, um, go and do their normal life, go back to work. I wouldn't recommend them all go back to cycling like Pastor Gorley, but that is also something that you can do. At my two week checkup, he looked me over and I said, well, when can I start doing stuff? He said, get on your bike whenever you're ready. And so I did a short uh, nine mile ride, probably right at two months from my, my surgery. I am preparing to ride in the Wichita Falls Hotter Than Hell 100. It was a goal when I knew that I was gonna have this procedure that I wanted to get back and at least ride it. So I'm gonna do the 50 miler this year and I have some friends that are riding with me and we're just gonna go out and have a good time and I'm gonna praise the Lord that I can ride still.